Dubai and its 9% tax, something that a lot of people love to talk about online. A lot of people like to say that Dubai has a 9% tax. It's true, we do have a 9% tax, but one thing that 99% of influencers and content creators are avoiding to tell you is the fact that you might not actually have to pay this. Now, I've been watching a lot of content like you are watching this video right now, and you've probably seen a lot of videos about this. Now, let me tell you the truth because I think transparency is very important in this industry. It's important to know what you're getting yourself into, but unfortunately, other people are trying to sell you other products programs, whether it's Cyprus, whether it's, I don't even name countries, but whether it's another country, I think it's really important to fully understand what you're getting yourself into. Just because it can make them money doesn't mean it's the right decision for you. And of course, I get on calls with people all the time and I tell them Dubai is not suitable for you. At the end of the day, it's not about making money. It's about making the right decision for our clients. Of course, we focus on Dubai specifically. We don't like to dabble with too many things. We have partners for other countries. However, we like to focus on Dubai. Now, the most important thing is I'm not just going to sell you Dubai just to sell you Dubai. We're not like every other consulting agency. So let me go over the 9% tax once and for all so you can actually understand what is going on here in Dubai. So a lot of influencers are saying that in Dubai, you have to pay the 9% tax if you make over $100,000 in revenue. The truth is that is not true. Here is the government's information that you can come and take a look at in the link in the description down below. It's on the screen now. Just feel free to pause and read through this. Don't take my word for it. Take the government's word for it. There's a small business relief for businesses making under 816,000 US dollars in revenue. So if your revenue is under that, you have no tax, both on a corporate level and of course on a personal level. There's zero on a personal level. And what happens if you make over 816,000 US dollars in revenue? Well, it's very simple. You will then have to pay a 9% tax. But something else that a lot of people are avoiding to tell you is you only have to pay a 9% tax on your net income that exceeds 102,000 US dollars. So for example, if your net income was 102,000 US dollars, you pay 0% corporate tax, 0% income tax. But now let's say your business made 103,000 US dollars, you have to pay 9% tax on that additional thousand dollars you made above 102,000. That's something that a lot of people aren't mentioning. Why? Because they want to sell you other programs. Maybe that's something we should get into. I don't know how much money these guys are making, but maybe I should start saying that Dubai is dead to scare you away from setting up here and making more money by setting you up in another country and selling you a bunch of stuff you don't need. But the truth is most people are not making over 816,000 US dollars in revenue. We've done over 100 company setups in the last 12 months, and it is very rare for a company to do that in revenue. So if you are doing that in revenue, just consider, is it worth it for you to pay 9%? If the answer is, Kevin, I don't want to pay 9% on my net income above 102,000 US dollars, then I'll tell you, okay, don't move to Dubai. And if you don't want to actually live here in Dubai, then I would tell you, don't set up in Dubai. If you're not willing to live here for three months per year, then I would tell you, don't move to Dubai. Don't set up your business here in Dubai. There's other jurisdictions around the world where you can set up your business and then live in another country. But of course, one important thing is, yes, corporate tax, that's one part, but also your personal income tax is another very important thing. Dubai offers you personal income tax here with your company. You can get residency with this, with your company. Okay, you can't just move to Dubai and get tax residency here. No, you need to have a company or you need to get a golden visa and you need to get that in order to get tax residency here. And that's what the company allows you to get here. It really depends on a case by case basis, but the most important thing is no, you don't have to pay a corporate tax in most cases. Some people do. And in that case, if that's you, then consider if this is the right structure for you before considering other very complex structures that might cost you a lot more money than you expect and a lot more time and might be a lot more difficult to maintain. So please guys do your research in the description down below. I will have the official small business relief link that you guys can go ahead and take a look at. This is officially issued by the government, not by me, not by someone online. This is actually on the government's website. So please do your research. And if you do consider moving to another jurisdiction around the world, please do your research on that as well. Don't just take a consultant's word for it because at the end of the day, people are usually profit driven and I don't blame them. And to just fully conclude and wrap up this video so that it's very, very clear and if there's someone out there that does not understand this, send this section to them. If your company in Dubai, your free zone company or your mainland company does not make more than 3 million AED in revenue, which is the equivalent to 816,000 US dollars. If your company does not make more than that in revenue, then there is no corporate tax applicable to you. It's a big zero. However, if you do go over 3 million dirhams, in revenue then and only in that case do you have to pay a corporate tax and that corporate tax is only on your net income which is not revenue but your net income 
that exceeds 102,000 US dollars or 375,000 dirhams. So to be very clear, let's say your company made a million dollars in revenue and your expenses were $800,000, then 1 million minus 800,000, that's 200,000 in net income. Now, from this 200k, you do have to pay a 9%, but only on the net income above 102. So, you take 200 minus 102, that's 98,000 dollars which is taxable and that's what you're going to pay 9% on. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, please share this with someone who you think might find it valuable and of course make sure to subscribe to the channel where we post transparent content and of course if you want to book a call and learn how to move to dubai we will help you with a free consultation and take care of your entire process